Today we're going to be checking out Little Debbie's Cosmic Brownie Cereal. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason. Here on this channel, I do a lot of food and product reviews. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Like I said, today we're checking out the new Little Debbie's Cosmic Brownie Cereal. So as far as I'm aware, this is the second of the Little Debbie cereals, at least the second one that I've done on this channel. The other one I did was the oatmeal cream pie cereal. Um, that one wasn't really fond of it. You know, it, it was okay didn't really remind me of oatmeal cream pies. The biggest takeaway I got from that cereal and why I probably will never buy it again is look at the shape of this cereal here. Look at those. What do those remind you of? Not to try to gross you out. They're brown. They're shaped like a sphincter. Just saying, that's what I thought it looked like. Let me know in the comments below. Are you getting that image too when you see those? I don't know. These ones, I guess, look a little more like the actual brownies. Just a smaller square type of shape. At least it looks like it's not something that totally grosses you out when you eat it. So we'll see if this one's any better than those oatmeal cream pie ones. All right. As you see, you got the what the brownies look like on there. Front of the box. Crispy brownie puffs with rainbow chips on the back. We just got some, looks like a crossword puzzle there. What else we got here? Facts going around here. The first chocolate brownie was made in America in the early 1900s. So a bunch of little facts on there, a little game you can play. Have you, I'm assuming if you've got this cereal, you've probably had these brownies. They're okay. I mean, they're not the greatest brownies, but for a cheap brownie that you can buy in the store, I like them. I like the frosting on they have on there and those little sprinkles. So I've always been, kind of a fan of those brownies. I haven't had one probably in years. I should have got one to go along with the cereal, but I can pretty much remember what those brownie, you know, it's a brownie with frosting. So we'll see if this tastes anything like a brownie with frosting. If you're interested in nutrition facts, 150 calories, 140 milligrams of sodium and 14 total grams of sugar per serving. Chocolate smelling. Just a minute here. Just a minute on this. Okay. So, <laughs> bring it over to this camera here. Maybe because it's in milk. We'll see once we put milk. Look how brown those are and compared to these. It, don't, it, it almost looks like these have died. They've, they were alive at once, they've died, and they've just lost all their color. Maybe that's the frosting, maybe like a glaze on there. We will see. And why are these sort of? They're, they're kind of going there. Let me see if the camera will focus on it. It's sort of got a little tiny sphincter in the middle. What is... Kellogg's doing with these Little Debbie ones. It's not as bad as the oatmeal cream pie ones, but why? Why do you need to do that? Hmm. All right, let's try one without milk. I can see the little sprinkles in there. Let's see if the, can you pick those up? Come on, focus on there. There we go. You can see some little sprinkles in there. But again, nowhere near the color of these ones. Look at that. Look how, Look how pale that is compared to that. All right, let's see how it is. Just tastes like a cocoa flavored cereal. Let's see if it's any better with milk. And if we get some color into this. Which we're really not, even once it's wet with milk. Look at that. Still, why? Why do they do this all the time? Why do, it's not just Kellogg's, it's all these cereal brands. Why do you make what the actual cereal looks completely different than what you put on the box? I'm hoping it gets better as I eat it. And then maybe I can pick out, it's just, right now it's just tasting like cocoa powder like a cocoa flavored cereal 
but not not like Cocoa Pebbles or anything like not good. There's the slightest bit of bitterness to it too. I'm just, I'm trying to eat it and let my mind go. Am I in any way picking up like, oh, that's a brownie. It's kind of like those cosmic brownies. Or does this just taste like kind of like a really cheap, really bad chocolate flavored cereal? All right, let me just set it aside. That's It's not brownie. It's not brownie tasting at all. At least I'm not getting it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this. What are you getting? What flavor? I mean, anything like that? I'm not. I just taste like a, like I said, a really cheap, bad flavored, cocoa flavored cereal. I'm not getting the brownie. Like the little sprinkles, they're so tiny. I'm not even picking those up. I don't taste those at all. Let me see if I can get one and just... Even if I just eat a little piece of it. It's... It doesn't add any extra crunch. And the flavor of the cocoa flavor of the cereal is masking if those have any flavor whatsoever. So the sprinkles, just for looks, they do nothing. You get no frosting flavor. Like I said, this tastes like a bad cocoa cereal. I'm trying to think, it's it's not like Cocoa Puffs. It's worse than that. It's worse than like Cocoa Pebbles. It's along the lines of, I did a video on Magic Spoon. If you've ever heard or, or know what those are, they're, they're, it's like a healthy cereal. Not that this is healthy, I'm not saying this is healthy. Their Cocoa one, I mean, one of them, I think it was, God, which one was it? I can't even remember which one was the good one. I think it was the fruity one that was good. That was the first one I did. I was like, oh, this is really good. The rest weren't very good. And the cocoa one was really bad because it was super bitter. This isn't as bad as that, but it's borderline. Like I said, I'm getting a little bit of bitterness, just a slight bit. It's not good. Like if you're getting this thinking, oh, this can be like those brownies, not even close to it. Wouldn't recommend this one at all. This goes down as... Like that cocoa one from Magic Spoon is probably the worst cereal I've ever had. This could be right behind it. I mean, because I've done a lot on here where they're just like, ah, they're blah. They taste like anything else out there. You know, they're not bad, but they're just kind of boring. This just isn't good. Like there was no point in making this cereal. Like Little Debbie snacks, not to knock on Little Debbie because let's face it. When you go to the store and you buy Little Debbie snacks, you know, you're getting like a knockoff hostess snack. Little Debbie's aren't that good as say like hostess or maybe a bigger brand. Same thing with the cereal. Like Little Debbie, did we really need cereals with Little Debbie? The oatmeal cream pie one I didn't care for. I think I like that one maybe a little better than this one. This is just, I don't know. There's nothing about this that I'd want to eat this again. Like if I want a cocoa flavored cereal, there's way better ones out there in the market. They're gonna be the same price and probably even from Kellogg's and stuff that are gonna be better than this one. I would recommend just pass on this one. You don't even need to try it. It's not good. Go, if you want a cocoa, get like Cocoa Puffs or something like that. Some other cocoa flavored cereal that's gonna be a lot better than this one. So there you go, the Cosmic Brownie cereal, a big bust for me. One of the worst ones I've tried. Cause not only is it just a boring, it's, it's not even a boring cocoa flavor. So it's just not a good one. It's not good at all. Let's see. I have a feeling it's going to be super mushy. We're going to do the mush, the, the crunch test. You know, it's been sitting here at the end of the, all the cereal videos. I usually go back and take a bite of it to see how does it hold up with crunch? Is it good soggy or not? I got a bite that wasn't complete in the milk, so that one still had a little crunch, but the other, a couple of the pieces were really mushy and not very good. Doesn't taste, doesn't change that cocoa flavor. Like it's a really strong cocoa flavor, like not in a good way. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this. What do you think of it? 
is there any other cereal out there that you can like compare this to? Like the only thing I'm coming up with is that Magic Spoon one. It's like I said, it's not that bad. It's not as bitter as that Magic Spoon one, but it's still not very good. There you guys go. The Cosmic Little Debbie Cosmic Brownie Cereal. Big pass. Thumbs down. If I had to rank it out of a, a scale of the one to 10, I'm going Magic Spoon, I'd put it like a one. I mean, you could eat this. It's not horrible where I couldn't eat it if I had to. I really wouldn't want to. So I'm going to go with maybe like a three, two and a half to three. Still, it's a big pass for me. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. All right, typically for the bonus clip, I continue to eat the cereal. I don't want any more of that. I'm not gonna eat anymore. This is probably gonna go straight in the garbage. I know no one else here is gonna eat this. So let's just read some of these little fun facts back here. How sweet little Debbie herself handing out yummy snacks. So this must be, can I get on a camera that you can see? Is, come on, pick it up. Is that the actual little Debbie right there? Did you know that Galactic Treats Cosmic Brownies were originally inspired by Cosmic Bowling Trend? The very first Little Debbie Bakery was in Collegedale, Tennessee, and they're still baking there. A Star is Born. Cosmic Brownies hit the shelves in September of 1999. Can you guess which came first? Can you guess when each Little Debbie snack was introduced compared to these well-known things? Okay. They're just comparing, like, the pocket kale calculator or the Swiss rolls. Yeah. I'm not gonna, probably gonna flip the box upside down and read all that, so. Okay, just trying to make my purchase worth it. Get a little information, a little facts before this box goes straight into the garbage. Like, a lot of cereals I get on here I don't eat again, but the least sit in my cupboard there to where maybe I would wanna eat them. I usually don't. This one, I know, I'm never gonna go back to this, so there's no reason to even keep this. Let's go straight in the garbage. I'll see you guys next time.